All right, so here's a little update on my 2018 F350 Super Duty Lariat. Um, almost a year old, um, bumping up against 17,000 miles. And it's springtime here in northwestern Pennsylvania. Kind of some updates on how the truck's been running and some mileage updates and just overall impressions. Um, you know, still really like the truck. Uh, I think it's uh, an improvement over the 2012 model. Uh, it's quiet, uh, has more refinement to it. Um, I've used it to tow multiple times. I have about a 7,500 pound boat. Uh, I probably pulled that, I don't know, 14 times, 16 times. And, you know, typically it's about a 35 mile one way trip. I've also pulled it on some 100 mile trips. Did great. Uh, brake system controller integrated works very well. I also have a gooseneck trailer that I uh, put my tractor on it and implements. I'm up near 18,000, 19,000 pounds. Did a nice job with that. I got my air horns on the truck and uh, compressor and tank. I also have the uh, mud flaps, the Dura flaps, in the front and the rear. And they do a nice job of protecting sides of the truck. Uh, this winter I did put some winter tires on it because stock Michelins just are not that great in my opinion in the sloppiness that we have here in Pennsylvania. But uh, very happy with it. Also have the Truxedo Low Pro tonneau cover on it. Um, you know, mileage wise, if I am not idling it, so if I don't start it up, warm it up, uh, it looks like I'm around 15.7 to 15.9 in my commute back and forth to work, which is about 8 miles. Uh, get it out on the road, you know, it starts creeping up over 18, 18 and a half. Get on a long jaunt, you know, I've seen over 20 on the, uh, I call it the lyometer, but the indicator telling you how many miles per gallon you're getting. But, uh, yeah, seems like it's pretty good. Um... Issues. Uh, let me think. The only thing I've had a problem with was actually the automatic tailgate. So this has an actuator inside. It's electronic tailgate. Um, you know, you can actually open it with the key fob. So there's nothing, not a mechanical inner, you know, linkage in there like the old ones. And about four weeks ago, I was power washing salt and stuff off of the vehicle. And I was really underneath of it. And I must have sprayed pretty hard on the wiring uh, harness connector that connects the tailgate uh, wiring. There's a connection down there. And long story short, took it to the dealer. They couldn't replicate the issue. You know, every, when it got warmer, like above freezing, the tailgate would drop, which was not real convenient. It didn't do it when I was driving. It would do it when it was parked. And... I ended up just pulling the uh, connector apart and putting a lot of dielectric grease in it. That worked very well. Interior is holding up nice. Paint's been holding up well. Obviously, I got to clean it, but uh, leather's been holding up well. I do condition that. I try to condition it every month. Sometimes in the winter, that's a little more difficult to do. But um, yeah, upfitter switches. Join those. Kids are making a mess out of the back seat. But uh, we've enjoyed the vehicle. Um, try to think about some other things on it. I did change the oil at the oil minder recommendation. I think it was about 9,000, 9, 9,500 miles, something like that. And I was getting nervous because uh, you know it hadn't told me to change the oil. And so, called the dealer. He's like, hey, just go by what the oil minder says. Okay. So, it was like 9,400 miles. It kicked on. I changed oil. I sent my oil out for analysis to Blackstone Labs. Came back. They said, looks great. Looks normal. Keep doing what you're doing. So, 
here are my tires. Again, the Michelins. Which are, I mean, they're they're great on the road. They're just not great off road. Still enjoying the two tone. So I'd uh, still buy this truck again. I know they're coming out with the 2020 models, which have a new grill, 10-speed transmission, some engine upgrades. Um, really happy with the truck. So we'll give it another year and give you another update. Thanks for thanks for watching.